Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright. Happy Taco Tuesday and Tequila or Tequila Tuesday. Pick your, pick your poison. Here's your daily stimulus check, second stimulus check, your third stimulus check, your executive action, executive order, and stimulus package update for Tuesday, March 9th, 2021, the day after International Women's Day. Find out how the new $1.9 trillion stimulus package could boost the incomes of certain Americans by 20%. That's right, 20%, one out of five. What time frame President Biden offered on when we can expect that $1,400 stimulus check and the latest breaking news of the House vote on the upcoming Senate relief bill? Wait, it's passed. Oh, wait, uh, passed till tomorrow. I'll get to it in this video after this. For the best news and information to master, dominate, and elevate your money, your business, your life, stay tuned to this channel. Also, I'm giving away $1,900 here to my audience because I love you guys so much. I hope as a tradition, as we grow, I can give more and more money away. That's the goal here is to help you. $1,900 cash from my account to your account. All you have to do is subscribe, like, and comment. It's that easy. Subscribe, like, and comment. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't set you back in life. And you're watching the video anyway, I hope. So if you mo wouldn't mind liking the video, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm, to be honest about the like button. And down below, grab your Weeble stock. You can get two stocks, no catch, for free. When you deposit $100, the stocks are worth more. And there's no catch to that. Make sure you don't miss out on getting those free stocks. It could be $1,600 in your bank account, basically your stock account right now. But first, the new study from the Tax Policy Center shows some very interesting information about how the new $1.9 trillion stimulus package would significantly improve the finances of the poorest Americans. This is so true, right? Since like 70% of people don't even have $1,000 stashed away. So it just makes sense if you send them $1,400, that's $400 more than 70% of the population, really. According to the study, the new Senate approved a version of President Biden's virus spending bill would give the poorest 20%, that 21.1% boost after taxes, which is fabulous, compared to the richest 20% of America who will only see a 0.7% raise in income with a new direct relief bill containing $1,400. Of course, they didn't do the math because a lot of these $1,400 will end up going into the economy and land in the wealthiest. I mean, how much are we going to spend on Amazon and how much is that going to help Bezos, right? Or Elon Musk, how many people are going to use that $100 down to order their Tesla? You know what I'm saying? Representative uh, Pramila J. Paul explained that American Rescue Plan is a, quote, truly progressive and bold package that delivers on its promise to put money directly in people's pockets. Well said. Thank you for saying that. Somebody had to say it. They got to push this through. All of them are on board. I don't know why they passed today. Should have been passed this morning. We were expecting it. This is yet another reason why the Congress and the White House have to move quickly on passing this necessary disaster relief bill as millions of Americans hit the hardest, still are desperately in need of these stimulus checks. They, they desperately need it. They're out of money. They've been out of money. There was a gap in unemployment for a long period of time. A lot of people that are employed were like hating on those people saying, oh, they need to go get a job. Well, if they couldn't get a job, no one supported them for three months. And that probably tapped them out. So that savings account that the Federal Reserve chairman was complaining about, not chairman, president in the, uh, I, won't, I, won't, I don't want to mention his name because it's negative, but he was complaining that people were saving this money right? Just crazy. Meanwhile, President Biden has made it clear that he wants to pass another disaster relief bill before the upcoming cash cliff Sunday, March 14th. It's ticking and has offered a time frame for when you can expect millions and millions of Americans to get that $1,400 stimulus check in your bank account. This is like what, number three now? So, you know, you kind of should have figured some things out. Biden explained recently, quote, this nation has suffered too much for too long and everything in this package is designed to relieve this suffering and meet the most urgent needs of the nation. 
so true. He also stated, quote, this plan will get checks on the door starting this month. Starting this month. Wow. There's only like half a month left. Less, you know, a little over half a month. So American, the American people who are desperately in need of this help, that is awesome. The president also stated, quote, by passing the American Rescue Plan, we have healed the voice of the American people, right? So he's heard it, they're listening, they're passing a bill, and they haven't ignored the voices of people that have been broke because they've been out of work, contained because of this virus, at home, the whole bit, right? By passing this plan, we will be delivering real tangible results for American people and their families. With President Biden awaiting congressional approval of his $1.9 trillion stimulus to put his signature on the new stimulus package, it's great to hear that we'll likely see this $1,400 stimulus check heading over that way to his office, to his desk, to be signed before April begins. So we should not, April begins. No, you'll get it. You'll get your money before then. But he should get it March 14th. My goal is that on the 15th, we rare to go for that entrepreneur challenge I've been telling you about. Finally, because I'm giving away money there, I don't want you to miss out on that. Finally, it looks like tomorrow, Wednesday, March 10th, is the new date for when the House of Representatives are planning to vote and approve the Senate update version of President Biden's $1.9 trillion stimulus package. Yes, the House had to you know, do their thing. House sent it to the Senate. Senate passed it. They're like, hey, we're good. Let's go have a martini. And then the House said, hey, wait a minute. Uh, we don't like these things. We're going to change a couple things. Now they're mixing it up. They're planning to vote tomorrow. While we expected a vote today, we did. We planned on it. We banked on it. Already bought champagne. I got the Bellini mix. I got the, you know, uh, what do you call it? The, the extra peach schnapps to be able to throw in the, and we were going to celebrate, but no. We got to wait a day to celebrate. We can handle that, right? Congressional members and immense about approving this new disaster relief bill in the coming hours. We're down to hours now, less than 24, to ensure that President Biden can sign it into law before the weekend. And according to the majority leader, uh, Steiny Hoyer's office, quote, the chamber received the Senate pass package on Tuesday. So they, they just got it. And we'll take procedural steps to set up final approval Wednesday morning. So they just got it. They're like, hey, uh, could you have given it to us like uh, yesterday? Seriously? House Democrat Caucus Chair Haman Jeffries, I got to screw up everybody's name, right? Explained that he is, quote, 110% confident his party has the vote to approve the plan. This is great news for millions of struggling Americans that have been waiting for these vital stimulus funds for months, months, and hopefully they'll start seeing these funds coming our way, your way, everyone's way in the next couple of weeks, including dependents. Just, yes, there will be money everywhere and people will be putting it in the stock market and I hope people don't hate on them for doing that. I don't think that's a bad thing, like investing it rather than blowing the money on something. Why, when did that become bad? And when did saving money become a bad thing? And the Federal Reserve doesn't like that. When did that become a bad thing to have a financial safety nest? I don't know. I guess I'm confused. That was your stimulus check, second stimulus check, and executive action stimulus package for Tuesday, Tequila Tuesday or Taco Tuesday, whichever you prefer, March 9th, 2021. And you guys that watch to hear, you I love with all my heart. I hope you guys have a great week. And for sticking around this long, please leave a comment with uh, that. Well, how long it takes you to get up in the morning? Like, do you press the alarm clock a couple times? 10 minutes, five minutes? Give me a number. We'll know between us that you waited till this part of the video. Um, how, just put a number. Don't say what it is. Just say five, 10 minutes, whatever. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Please stay safe out there. Take care. I love you. I wake up and then I sit there awake and let my mind just wander for about 10 minutes before I get out of bed. I love that time. It's fun because I have all these uh, ideas. Like today was like, you know, does my current model of the world that I like match up to the world that I'm in? And when they don't, what happens? What's the emotion I experience? And I ran with that. I'll tell you about that some other time. I love you. Take care.